Hi friends, family, and followers and subscribers of Vegan Chickpea. I'm here today on the big island of Hawaii making this video for you. I apologize in advance that I'm probably not looking at the camera because I can't really figure out <laughs> where to look to face you even though it seems like it'd be obvious so I'm just gonna wing it and go with the flow. I'm making this video because last night I had this idea. I was on a walk with my sister and had this pop up as we were talking and when it came to me I thought oh my gosh no I could never do that I could never ask for that what would people think you know all those critical voices that can go off in our minds when we have an idea that's a little bit out of the box or out of our normal comfort zone. So then today I woke up and I was thinking about it and I just had this burst of inspiration to come down here to the beach and just start talking to the camera to see uh, what would come out of my mouth and if I could actually ask for what I want to. So the, the story is that um, as Probably many or all of you know who are watching this video, I have a blog, veganchickpea.com, and I love it. I've had so much fun creating it over the last year, and now I'm starting to get some more momentum with it, and one of the ideas I have is that I'd love to be able to offer workshops in person, so teaching you how to cook healthier meal options for you, for your family, it could be anything from meal planning to seasonal foods to uh, raw foods to really any type of category that you can imagine. And I've had this idea for a while before I even started the blog, but now that I have this online resource, I just thought, wow, wouldn't that be so cool if I could also, in addition to the online content, be able to meet with you in person and be able to share a really fun and delicious experience where you get to learn about how you can integrate this into your life. So it's not just something that you see on the computer screen and go, mm, that looks good, and then you go out and eat your normal foods that may not be serving your healthiest, wisest self. So for over a year now, I think actually two years now, I've been following this chef called Mark Rainfield or, or Rainfield. He is actually, he has a restaurant here in Hawaii on one of the different islands. Uh, he's a very well esteemed vegan chef and he offers teacher trainings in raw food cuisine. Raw food is something that I've been interested in for a while. I don't know too much about it, but I've dabbled in it here and there. But for a long time, I've been thinking how much I'd love to get trained in raw food cuisine because it's not just here's a salad, um, you know, your tomatoes and your cucumbers and your lettuce. It's actually this entire world of delicious foods that I think can really expand our horizons. But more importantly, it can really can serve our bodies because it's just completely nourishing foods with all of their complete uh, nutrients in them that don't get cooked out. So uh, uh, incorporating a lot more raw foods into our diet feels really important to me, but honestly, I don't know all that much about it. So you might be able to see where this is going, but I've had this longing to go to one of Mark's raw food teacher trainings, and there's one coming up in Portland in May, and I emailed him yesterday. He said that he still has some spaces left, so I'd really love to go do that while I'm here stateside maybe six hour plane ride from Portland at the moment. And the thing is, what often holds many of us back, I know, is the story of not having enough money, right? So there's so many things that many of us would love to be able to do, and yet um, the, the financial picture, the reality of that can hold us back sometimes. So when I was talking to my sister on the walk last night, going back to the beginning of the story, I thought, oh my gosh, what if I could just ask people for money? What if I could just crowdsource and fundraise and whoever feels called in their heart to support me, whether it's $5 or $50 or whatever somebody might feel called to do, what if I could just ask and see what shows up in life to support this for me? So that's what I'm doing. I'm here taking that step to just say that if any of you feel called to support this dream of mine and to uh, follow me on the journey where I can then support you later in 
getting to learn about raw food cuisine, then I'd love to have your support. And even if that just means that you hold me lovingly in your heart, it doesn't have to be financial. Any support that you feel called to offer, I'm inviting in. And I'm just very grateful to even take the step to ask for something that I need and want. And regardless of what happens, whether I raise zero dollars or above and beyond what I need, I just uh, feel grateful that I can take this step that's really big for me. And um, I hope that I'm able to um, move forward in a way with uh, vegan chickpea and all that I'm doing in a way that continues to um, serve so many of you and um, I want to add that I feel very very loved and encouraged by so many of you who have been posting on Facebook and emailing me and texting me with a lot of loving encouragement around that as I've just started doing video on Facebook so thank you so much for your support and here I am on Magic Sands Beach you can see it better there now um, I can't think of a better place to manifest something than a beach called Magic Sand. So uh, sending you much love and aloha from Hawaii and thank you so much for watching this video. Hope to see you soon. Bye.